I think that the theory of the nuclear revolution is fundamentally flawed. Um, we actually know, according to proponents of the theory of the nuclear revolution, like Robert Jervis, or the late Kenneth Waltz, um, the world doesn't look the way that the theory predicts it should look. Right? Robert Jervis's first book was called The Illogic of American Nuclear Strategy. His second book was The Meaning of the Nuclear Revolution. He was trying to convey to people something that they weren't understanding, particularly leaders. Why did the United States and the Soviet Union arms race to the hilt? Why do nuclear powers today continue to compete? The theory of the nuclear revolution essentially holds that nuclear weapons are not just a great deterrent to war, but that they go much further and that they've changed the basic calculus that nuclear armed states face. Right? In the past, in the pre-nuclear world, uh, countries had to look out for themselves. They had to preserve their own security. Um, they had to gain greater power over potential adversaries. They had to form alliances to maximize their power. They had to care about strategic territory. They engaged in arms racing. All of these dynamics, which in themselves led to war, um, according to the theory of the nuclear revolution, all of those behaviors should essentially disappear. Right? If nuclear weapons make war obsolete, or at least war against me obsolete, then all the other security seeking behaviors that countries have engaged in for millennia um, should, should dissipate, should at least be drastically minimized. Um, the assumptions of the nuclear revolution are that nuclear weapons are so massively destructive and so easy to deliver after a certain point that no country will attack a nuclear armed state. And if you can't be attacked, you're fundamentally secure. Ultimately, the theory of the nuclear revolution holds that the security dilemma should be obsolete and that states should be able to figure out ways to live in greater peace, uh, peace and harmony, if, if not simply stability. My own view is that after decades and decades, if a theory doesn't help you understand the world, the, pro the problem is probably with the theory itself, not with the actual real world. It could be that all these leaders are misperceiving. It could be that all these leaders of nuclear armed countries are influenced by domestic politics or other domestic pathologies, like the military industrial complex. Or it could be that there's a problem with a the theory, that just because nuclear weapons are a great deterrent doesn't mean that they eliminate the need to compete uh, in all other realms and, and need to compete at the level of security.